happy Thursday. I just got off work and no, I did not wear this ensemble to work. I'm actually headed to a cycling class. I'm trying to get healthy, um, lose you know, a few LBs. Ain't goal of healthiness, but you know, LBs are a bonus. So heading to a cycling class. I've never been to a cycling class before in my life. So y'all, pray for me. Go with my two line sisters so We figure if we go together, we can be strong together. But yeah, it's now summertime in Texas. We got a little small break of summer being a little pushed back than normal. And I'm thankful, but now it is up to 90 degrees. And that's still small, like, that's still small. That's still cool for a true Texas summer. When we get in this dead of summer, low. That's why when everybody was complaining about, <laughs> why is it still winter, it's still 50 degrees. I'm like, uh, you better calm that down, cause guess what? In July and August, you're gonna be praying for something under 100. But yeah. So, you know, going to do this class, again, pray for me, pray for us that we make it because it's all our first times going to a cycling class. Therefore, we don't, we have no idea what we're in for. See you on the flip side. This is the before. Wait, wait, before. before. We all happy. Yeah. Remember us the way we are. Remember us the way we are. This fancy. You ready? You ready? <laughs> we did it. We made it. By the grace of God. It was hard. It was. Is that the one with the... Yeah. Hello. It is Friday, so which means I survived last night. Um, yeah, it was one of the hardest workouts ever. My main, I'll say this, my main thing that I had to get over was, I guess, you know, riding a bike. Normally when I'm riding a bike, I'm actually on a bike where I'm going somewhere. And so the rhythm is normal. And it's been so long since I've done that, period. So, you know, just going. And then the standing up, I had to get my rhythm going. And that was kind of messing me up a little bit. But after, I But after I got that, it was smooth sailing. And by smooth sailing, I mean, my butt was kicked really hard. Right now, sitting down, that's the thing. Well, why would they tell you? And some people do tell you. So I'll tell you now. If you do a spin class, put some kind of cushion on that seat. Because if not, your bum bum is going to be hurting the next day. It was hurting that night. And then the next day, which technically is today, it is still hurting. And I know with working out, second day hurt is real so I'm praying that that does not also you know go for the second day hurt of my butt so you know normally when I do leg day or any kind of leg you know going to the bathroom you can normally when I do leg day going to the bathroom you know it's like uh, my legs but I can like keep from having to sit down because squatting Ugh. I sit all day at a desk I can't I can't avoid sitting on my butt which hurts but let me stop complaining I have fun it was great I would actually do it again would I make that my regular workout probably not no but I would make it like ooh, I'm I've hit a plateau I need to kick my butt into gear a little bit so um, I would do it then, 
other than that, I can't see myself doing that every day. One, go to the Park Lane Zen 22, and the instructor we had was Mike. Mike was awesome. I don't know about the other ones because, you know, I only been once and Mike was our teacher. But Mike was, Mike was great. So, yeah, Zen 22, I'll try to link it below. And by try, I will do it. I will link it. So, if you're in Dallas, and names, then not. When I pull into the gas station, I am two seconds away. Well, not two seconds away, because again, I know my car. But that warning light has come home to let you know. Um, I need you to put some gas in me, please. And thankfully, as I speak about gas, here is, why is there a line over here and all the rest of them are moving? I'm trying to get to gas station, people. Okay, it's moving in here. But yes, and as I speak of gas, what shall I see? A gas station, which is very full. And this person's about to get the tank that I was going to get. It's okay. I won't be mad. I'll just go get another one. Yay! So if I don't see you again, I might pop back on tonight. If not, see you in the morning. It's Friday, weekend. I would say turn up, but there will be no turn up happening for me today. As I said, I'm going to an event, and it's not a turn up event. It's a sit and listen event. The best kind, aren't they? Good morning, people. It is a Saturday morning. Last night I had an event, and literally I got finished. When I was finished, I came straight home and came straight to bed. So that was a slightly late night, and it's an early morning. So right now I am pulling in to a Starbucks and getting like a two for one fur as in I'm getting my caffeine and I'm getting a breakfast sandwich because I'm a little hungry be right back you have to commit to sleep how do you do that do you have a family you have kids yeah I have kids and family but still you know they they respect when I need to sleep they let me sleep I try to get six to eight hours yeah I'm back. I'm back and slightly annoyed because have you ever just had this like one place feeling where you're like, I know I'm not supposed to use this one, but it's the closest one, so I'm gonna do it anyway and hope for the best. Well, I just did that with this Starbucks. This Starbucks is always full, and before wind up, before I found the magic of the mobile order. I would come in there and I'd place an order and I know it at least always took me at least 10 minutes and I'm getting like the simplest drink. I do not get a complicated drink. I get a strawberry refresher with light ice. Not that hard. So now I do mobile water and I'm very spoiled because the Starbucks I normally use is by my job and I normally put it in by the time like when I'm leaving work, because I normally get it in the middle of the day, and I put it in by the time I'm leaving work, and the Starbucks is maybe two minutes to three minutes from my job. By the time I'm there, it is ready sitting there. They wave, and I go. Well, at this Starbucks, this is maybe my second time doing the global, global, mobile order, and let's just say, I don't like doing it here because and this one's kind of closer to my house because they take forever I 
put this in at eight o'clock. I got up here. Again, simple drink. Super fresh. It's not even a big one. And they go, they have my sandwich out. So clearly my order was got, like it was received, okay? Received. But there's no drink up there. Where's my drink? So I nicely go, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Where's my drink? Um, what did you get? I had some mobile or a refresher. Then there's one and goes, oh, I thought that was your refresher. No, I would still be standing here if it was my refresher. I'd be gone. I mean, yeah, Starbucks is nice, but I got places to be. I have meetings today. So, yeah, that's my Starbucks run today. I got my drink. I'm gonna go. Hopefully, I'm not late. The other thing I do, and I didn't feel bad about it. Sometimes I feel bad when I do this at Starbucks. But today, I didn't because you should have my order on time. Was I have one of those cooler cups. And I have a straw that goes with it, but you know, sometimes you wash the straw at different times that you wash the cup. So whenever I'm at a Starbucks, I get one straw for the drink that I'm actually drinking and however many extra straws climb into my hand. I technically walked out with four, one fell, didn't have time to pick it up, didn't want to pick it up because I'm not going to use it anyway. Um, so I have two extra ones for, or just whenever I'm in the car with the drink. So that's a tip for like, cause those are the perfect size for cooler cups. If you're ever at when you're at Starbucks, just take some extra straws. I don't know. I mean, you kind of tend to pay up one cause Starbucks is ridiculously high. It's ridiculously addictive, but it's also ridiculously high. These meetings. I'm gonna be in meetings pretty much from nine to six today on a Saturday. I wish I could tell you I was looking forward to it and I'm really excited about it. But I'm not. Whatever you do what you gotta do. See you on the flip side. It is now 5.36. So I got out early. Not a lot early, but any early is great. I'm about to go and work out. I had made a deal with myself. I was like, if we get out on time, I will go work out. And every meeting you normally go to, you be like, wishing you get out early and you don't. This one I was like, eh, I kind of hope it goes over so I don't have to go work out. Not only we get out on time, we got early. So now I have to go. I'm not complaining. Well, kind of I am, but I'm gonna go do it. At least 30 minutes because I didn't go yesterday. Done by 
it's um, two o'clock to six. So I'll be done by six. Which still gives me a little bit more of the Sunday evening to relax and decompress before I have to go in for work work. I am sadly heading to the same Starbucks from yesterday. But who knows, they could maybe redeem themselves. By going today and my order's not in there doing a freaking Sunday afternoon. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not going, I will, I will not. I have to make sure wherever I'm going, there's a Starbucks near there if I want Starbucks because this one is re really tries my nerves. And I'm, I, you know what? Nope. I'm gonna go in a positive attitude. I'm gonna walk in and my mobile order is gonna be ready. It is gonna be done. I'm gonna pop in, pop out the car, pop back in, and it's gonna be ready. So, let's, fingers crossed, but I'm gonna have faith. Starbucks, don't let me down. Going in for the mobile order, I'm kind of parked illegally, so they better have my order ready. Just saying. I'm back. Yeah, I won't be coming back here no more. Yet again, mobile order does squat for this Starbucks. So, and it's not like, oh, I wait for a few seconds. It'd be like good, good minutes that I have to wait. So, yeah, this Starbucks will only be for never. Because coming in without the mobile order is my children will have grandchildren by the time I get my order. And this is the only Starbucks that it does that I've had this problem. So, so it's like ooh, but whatever. This I'm still running on pretty good time. I'm good. I will drink my drink and just lesson learned. Lesson learned. As they say, when people or Starbucks show you who they are, 